Step right up, folks, and get ready to discover the hidden world of Major League Baseball mascots. These lovable, furry creatures may seem like they're just there to entertain the crowd, but behind the scenes, they're pulling a lot of strings. Don't believe it? Let's go check it out together. But first, what are mascots, and why the heck do we even need them? The word mascot is a French term first used in 1867, and it translates as lucky charm. But in sports, it goes beyond that meaning as it is now another symbol of a team's identity and the provision of extra entertainment. It would come into the MLB many years later and saw its first appearance through the New York Mets. The Mets were the first MLB team to introduce a mascot in human form during the opening of the Shea Stadium in 1964. The Mets had brought to life Mr. Met, who was just a cartoon drawing in 1963, co-designed by Al Avison, a comic book artist. Mr. Met, who is depicted by a huge baseball for a head, was first worn by Dan Riley a team ticket office employee. Riley, after serving as Mr. Met for a while, was married to a Mrs. Met, and soon they both had three little Mets to make one big Happy Mets family. Of course, this was a fictional marriage, but you get the idea. Mr. Met, however, lost his popularity in the late 70s and was abandoned by the New York Mets for 20 years before he was reintroduced again in 1994. He remains the official mascot of the Mets to this day, and since Riley wore the identity, Mr. Met has been worn by three other personalities who have separate lives outside of the costume. Riley, for example, wrote a book about his life as a mascot after he retired, while his successor, A.J. Mass, became a fantasy writer for ESPN before going on to author many articles and books. But whoever wears it always displays a playful and energetic personality. The signature head shake and his interactions with fans. Mr. Met is also involved in community outreach programs and charitable efforts, including his support of the Mets Foundation, which helps improve the lives of children and families in the New York area. And in case you're wondering how much Mr. Met earns as a salary, it's reported that mascots usually earn between $25,000 to $60,000 yearly. Depending on the experience, off-field activities, popularity of the mascot, and the market size of the team. But aside from team salaries, Mr. Met can also be called for private shows. Which means, if you want him to appear at your child's birthday party, he would only cost $600 per hour. Would you want to pay for something like this, though? Anyway, aside from the New York City Mets, 26 other MLB teams have their own official mascot. Only the Dodgers, Yankees, and Angels care nothing for a mascot. The Los Angeles Angels, however, made a bit of an exception here with Rally Monkey. Rally Monkey is not a mascot per se, but he can substitute as one. This unofficial mascot usually holds up a placard with the inscription, Rally Time, whenever the team's down in the Anaheim Stadium. You can say that Rally Monkey has saved the Angels in crucial times before. First time he debuted on June 6, 2000, the Angels were behind 5-4, the ninth inning against the Giants. But the Angels turned the game around before the close after Rally Monkey made an appearance. Rally Monkey also came to their rescue again against the Giants in Game 6 of the 2002 World Series. The Angels were trailing 3-2 in the series. 5-0 in the game, but ended up winning the game at the end after Rally Monkey showed up on the scoreboard and boosted his team to an incredible comeback. All right, let us now move away from all that monkey business to continue with those teams that have official mascots. Since we can't take all 27 of them, we will focus on the most famous ones. There are several MLB mascots that are widely recognized and beloved by fans, but one of the most famous is the Philly Fanatic. Philly Fanatic has been the mascot for the Philadelphia Phillies since 1978 and has become an iconic part of the team's brand. The Fanatic is a furry green, bulging-eyed, long-snouted bird that may not know how to fly, but is well known for his goofy antics, energetic dance moves, and playful interactions with fans, players, and other mascots. He engages in silly jokes that appeal to children, such as shooting hot dogs from a cannon, dancing with kids on the field, 
and playfully teasing opposing team players. He particularly loves to play with the bald-headed spectacles sitting close to him, and sometimes stands on the roof of the Phillies' dugout to do the Fanatic Dance. Philly Fanatic was designed by Harrison and Erickson, two colleagues of Jim Henson, the same Henson that created Muppets. He is one of the most famous mascots in North America sports and was named the best mascot in sport by Forbes magazine in 2008. He's also been inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame in 2005, which recognizes the top mascots in the sports industry. Another mascot that has entered the Hall of Fame is the Oriole Bird. The Oriole Bird has been the official mascot of the Baltimore Orioles since April 6, 1979. He first appeared in a dramatic way by hatching out of a giant egg just like the Screech and the Chicken mascots had done in their debuts. Ranked the fifth best baseball mascot in 2021, the Oriole Bird is a colorful bird with black and orange feathers, which are the colors of the Orioles team. He's been featured in numerous commercials, TV shows, and movies, and was inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame in 2020. If you want him to appear at your event, here's a price list for you. Corporate events, $350 per hour. Nonprofit or community appearance, $190 per hour. Private parties, $175 per hour. And if you just want to see him on this screen, it'll cost you just $175 per hour. So knock yourself out. Next, let's check out one of America's favorite mascots who has a funny origin story. Wally the Green Monster is the official mascot of the Boston Red Sox, which debuted on April 13, 1997, to a crowd that surprisingly booed him on his first appearance. This might be due to the fact that he was only popular among kids as a fictional character prior to his first appearance in Fenway Park, but eventually the adults soon warmed up to him and he's become one of the most popular mascots in the game. Wally is a large green monster with a toothy grin, round eyes, and a long furry tail. He's known for his jolly personality and his signature belly slide move whether he's in the diamond or just messing around in the streets of Manhattan. While he's an important part of the Boston Red Sox brand and has become a beloved figure in Boston, he makes regular appearances at Fenway Park and participates in community outreach programs throughout the Boston area. He's also known for his charity work, including his support of the Jimmy Fund, a nonprofit organization that raises funds for cancer research and patient care at Boston's Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Coming up next is Slugger. The official mascot of the Kansas City Royals, Slugger, is a six foot nine lion with a crown for a mane. He also has a tail and wears the team's colors blue and gold with the number 00 on his jersey. It was created by Tom Sapp, a designer of Real Characters, Inc. He first appeared at the Kauffman Stadium in 1996. His name is inspired by the word slugger, which means a powerful hitter who is capable of hitting the ball a long way, often resulting in a home run. The Royal Slugger has hit some home runs in his career, but not with a baseball. He instead throws hot dogs, t-shirts, and temper tantrums from time to time. However, he faced the law in 2015 when he was sued by a spectator who was hit by one of his thrown hot dogs. But aside from this, Slugger has provided nothing but delightful entertainment for years now. And if you're looking to have your child consecrated the symbol way, Slugger has got you. He is the king of the jungle, remember? The next mascot may actually not be from this world. Orbit is a green alien with two antennae extending into baseballs. He wears an Astros jersey. He's a green, furry creature with large, bulging eyes and a mischievous grin. He stands about six foot tall and is known for his high energy antics on and off the field. Orbit is known for his playful and quirky personality. His name was inspired by the relationship the Astros have with NASA. Orbit first debuted in 1990 for the Houston Astros, but was later replaced by Junction Jack when the team changed stadiums. But then he was reintroduced in 2012 to the delight of everyone. One of the things that makes Orbit unique is that he's not just a typical mascot who runs around the stadium and poses for photos. He's also known for his dance moves, which are often showcased during breaks in the game. He's been known to dance Michael Jackson's moonwalk, and our personal favorite was when he blew our minds with his dance to Beyonce's Single Ladies. He's done everything except go to space, but this is probably a part of his to-do list. Who knows? Anyway, 
Which of your favorite mascots did we leave out of the list? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video about the secret lives of MLB mascots, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.